Okay, so welcome to the second project of the Spark Fun Inventors Kit. This time we are going to be controlling the brightness of an LED. So, of course, we need our red board and our breadboard uh, set up here and screwed into the board. Uh, we've got six wires uh, ready to connect up and get everything going. Uh, of course, we have our LED. Uh, this is what we're going to be making brighter or not brighter. And we have one 330 ohm resistor. Uh, so the last piece we have here is this guy. This is a new piece. This is called a potentiometer. Okay, so what this does is it has a little dial with an arrowhead on top of it here. And what that allows us to do is actually vary the voltage coming in. So as we connect it up to the board here, we'll be able to control the voltage and the amount of voltage that is supplied to the light will either make it brighter or dimmer. So high voltage brighter, low voltage dimmer. So why don't we put this together and see how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do here is actually put in this LED. So again, just watch out. Uh, short end is negative, long end is positive. Make sure you put it in the right way. So I'm going to put it in over here uh, on this side where positive goes into 20 and the negative goes into 19. That's right here. And we'll pop that guy right Oh. Had a little trouble there. All right, and next we're gonna hook up the resistor. So that goes uh, over here. Doesn't matter which way, but we're gonna connect it from 20 to the negative on that side. All right, there we are. And next, of course, the wire to go to the light. So that's gonna go from 13, same as in round one. Okay, and that is going to go into the positive portion of the breadboard where the LED is. Boom, just like that. Looks good so far. Okay, so next I'm going to install this component, the potentiometer. So it doesn't matter which way this arrow is facing right now. All right, but I am going to put it here. A six, seven, eight. Kaboom, look at that. Easy as pie, that one went in nice. All right, and then now it's just uh, the matter of hooking up the remaining wires here. So of course we'll hook up the positive portion. goes to the 5 volt section and the negative portion will go to the ground. Okay, now we have to hook up the wires to the potentiometer itself. So we need to uh, of course connect it so that it goes to the boards the LED. So I'm going to use this orange wire here. Oops, this one down here. And we go over to the positive here. And we have to hook up the negative side as well. So I'll use this uh, lovely red wire. Okay, and last we hook the potentiometer up to the board on A0. So here's our circuit. I'm going to plug this in like so. Oops, <laughs> that's not right. Uh, oh, the plug doesn't want to go in today. Uh-huh, I've had it upside down, sorry. Plug that in, we're ready to go. Of course it's not working yet, because we need to install the program and upload it. 
Okay, so here we are in the Arduino IDE. So the first thing we're going to need to do is load up our example program. It's by File, Examples. We'll find our SparkFun Inventors kit and Circuit 2. Let's load that up now. Pops up and we'll crack this open. So it's got a bunch of comments for you about the potentiometer and LED. So this program is a little bit more complicated than the last one, but only slightly. It's not really hard or anything. So you can see before we even get to the setup loop, we've declared two variables. So one is sensor pin and the other is LED pin. So sensor pin is zero. That's actually what the potentiometer is connected to. And the LED pin is 13, which is what the LED is connected to. All right, so those are just values to kind of store uh, what we need so we can use them over and over again instead of having to remember the number. It's easier to remember a name. So when we get into setup, uh, here we have our pin mode again, like in the last one. So we've got uh, our LED pin, which is 13. That's the one that's gonna get our current here, right? Okay, so let's go to our loop. We've got another uh, variable declared here. This is called sensor value, which we actually end up using right here to read the sensor pin. And if you remember, sensor pin is what our potentiometer is hooked up to. So basically, we're getting a value from the potentiometer. Again, if you remember, you can set a dial uh, to one side or the other, which will give it a high, high value or low value. Uh, and then in uh, the rest of the code here, so you've got this digital write. Uh, this basically, as you can see, turns the LED on. Then we have this delay. So basically, uh, this will stop the program from running for a number of milliseconds uh, based on the sensor value that we've read from the potentiometer. Then it'll turn the light off and delay again for the same amount of time. So basically how this program will work is that if we set the potentiometer such that uh, it's providing us with a high value, uh, then what's gonna happen is this is gonna stay on for a long time and then turn off for a long time. So the flashing of the LED will be on, off, on, off. But when we turn the potentiometer to input a low value, this is gonna flash very fast. So it's gonna be more like on, off, on, off, on, off because of these delays. So there's either a long delay or a short delay. Now, uh, right now we're working with uh, the red board and it's in only analog. So you can see high, low. There's no in-between values that can be set with the potentiometer, at least not in this program. I believe this, this board has some analog inputs, but we're not working with those yet. This is only our second program. So we've basically got on off, but this kind of flashing can be used to simulate brightness. Uh, basically fast flashing, it maybe a, a bit brighter and then longer stuff, lower. Uh, so uh, let's compile this code and we'll, oh, looks good. So we'll upload it and let's see if that works. Here you can see I've got, uh, got my board hooked up, ready to go. It's not working, what happened? Ah! No, what happened is I put these two little guy wire guys in the wrong place, so let's move these over. There's one, oh, and the other, boom. Aha, so. It's flashing, so obviously I've got my potentiometer set here, so why don't we crank it to about halfway and let's see if it blinks faster. Oh yeah, that's definitely noticeably faster. And why don't we crank it up all the way here. And boom, you can see that's flashing much faster. So, our program works, voila. All right, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.